as good as uh, Jacob Truba was, the trade for Neil Piong isn't looking so bad these days. Uh, you mind sharing your your thoughts about it from from the day maybe that it happened when you didn't know much about Neil to to what do you know about Neil now? Sure, I mean uh, he's obviously playing great hockey for us. Um, had an amazing year last year, and um, I guess going back to the day that the trade happened, um, obviously I you know good friends with with Jake. Uh, he's you know a really good friend of mine, so. Um, we chatted a little bit and stuff like that. And, and obviously it's always tough to see someone go, but, um, you know, I, I guess my initial, um, memories of playing against Neil, um, I thought he was really good when he played against us, um, with the Rangers. Um, uh, I think he played us a couple of times, um, just watching, uh, some of their games on TV as well. You know, I remembered he was, um, you know, great skater and, and, uh, you know, just a gamer, you know, he competes. Um, I remember a couple nice goals that he had. So, you know, I didn't know a ton about him. I hadn't played with him at any events or anything like that or against him um, a whole lot. I, I don't think other than those games. So um, didn't know a lot, but obviously over the last couple of years, I mean, he's, he's a phenomenal guy. He's great in the room. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know him. And I think uh, his game speaks for itself. Um, I think he's just continuing to get better and better. And, uh, you know, he's uh, he's been great for us. And we'll go next to Kelly Moore from CJOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Hey, good afternoon, Josh. Um, just wondering when things are unfolding as they were from about the two and a half minute mark of the second period till the end of that middle frame. What, what's the climate like on the bench? Because from an observatory point of view, it's how did the ice get that tilted that quick? But I'm, I'm sure you guys look at it differently as players. Um, I mean, obviously you can feel the momentum changing a little bit. Um, you know, that's where you want to try and um, get to your structure, um, you know, get some, uh, some plays ended in your own end and, and uh, to use the same analogy, get the ice tilted to the other way a little bit um but there's gonna always be momentum changes in games um you know you don't necessarily want it to be as as drastic as that was but uh, you have to weather that um i think maybe how we could do a bit, bit of a better job is uh you know the tendency when the other team's uh feeling it and has momentum is to sit back and sort of uh you know be extra cautious and and give up uh half a zone uh, and when you're playing against the, you know, guys like they have over there, um, you give them, um, you give them room and you're in trouble. So, you know, I think just sort of trying to, uh, you know, realize that we have to get back to playing and, and, um, you know, not, uh, sort of give them too much, too much ice, too much room and, and too much sort of respect in that regard. Um, you know, that's probably something that we could, uh, do a better job of in that, uh, instance. And we'll go next, uh, Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Thanks, Gregor. Afternoon, Josh. Uh, just what are you seeing from the defense score in general and from your pairing with Tucker Pullman in particular now that he's had a couple games back in under his belt and you guys have been used together a little bit more? He can, yeah. I mean, I think um, obviously, uh, first of all, as a decor, I think, um, you know, we're, we're, we're working hard to uh, um, end plays early in our own end. I think we're... Um, there's always room for improvement, but we're getting better at that. Um, we're sort of having a little bit of uh, consistency and obviously uh, a Forbes and, and Pionk uh, uh, have played together um, for the entire year. So they have uh, a good chemistry going. I think we're starting to get some chemistry um, as an entire back end. And uh, uh, so I like the direction we're moving. Um, I also think playing with Tux, I mean, you know, when you miss time, it's really tough. and uh, when you miss time at the start of the year, sort of after one game, um, it's even harder. So I thought he's been great since he's come back. And um, obviously we played together last year. So uh, there's a familiarity there for both of us. But, um, you know, I think he's doing great. I think uh, as a pairing where, um, you know, it takes time to to just feel the, the game together as a pairing. But, you know, I think we're, um, we're getting better each tonight and uh i think he's playing great we'll go next to uh sean reynolds from sportsnet go ahead sean 
Hey, Josh, you probably wouldn't remember either of these conversations, but when you were fresh out of um, Team Canada Juniors camp, I'd asked you about Connor McDavid and if he was, you know, headed for greatness, you know, and you had said, oh, absolutely. And uh, you'd said something similar about Leon Dreisaitl. So nonetheless, I, I, I trust your talent evaluation. You probably have a future in it if you want it down the road. Um, but Connor McDavid, if he gets a point in this next game, he becomes the, he ties it. Sidney Crosby is the eighth fastest player to 500 points. Um, I know you can only give the perspective of the time that you're in, but can you give us an idea of what you think we're seeing here in, in the player that is Connor McDavid? Well, I'd say, first of all, in my talent evaluation, those are probably two, uh, uh, you know, pretty can't miss uh, prospects. <laughs> you know, both of those guys are, uh, were amazing at the time and, and obviously they've gone on. So, um, can't take too much credit there, but, uh, I mean, just, just phenomenal player. Um, you know, he's a phenomenal person as well. You know, I really enjoyed getting a chance to know him, um, through a couple world juniors and an under 18, um, you know, just for somebody who is under the public eye, like he is, um, you know, to, to basically just be, a you know, a down to earth, uh, you know, uh, normal hockey player. I mean, it's, it's, he's just a great guy. So it's, I think that's one of the things that impressed me right away when I met him and uh, you know, his ability speaks for itself. Obviously the numbers he's produced in the league um, already at such a young age. I mean, it's pretty remarkable. That's for sure. And uh, you know, when you start to see some of these sort of milestones and um, achievements um, at the age, that he's at it's uh it's pretty remarkable obviously um makes it pretty darn difficult to play against but uh you know it's it's very impressive and i'm sure um you know he's destined for uh you know many more of those uh, special achievements and um and uh, statistics throughout his career and just a couple more for josh we'll go next to uh, paul Edmonds from jets radio go ahead paulie hey josh how are you I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, how do you think you handled McDavid last night? And further to that, was it sort of a game plan to get stick on stick on him last night? And you'll try to do that again tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I think um, he's going to get his chances. I mean, uh, he's too talented of a player to uh, sort of um, expect to, you know, limit him to nothing. Um, you know, that's just a uh, uh, too tall in order, but, um, you know, I thought we did a lot of good things on him defensively. Um, you know, I think being aware when he's out there, um, as a five man unit, obviously getting good back pressure, trying to, uh, you know, eliminate, um, some of his open ice, um, but definitely, you know, stick on puck and, and, uh, you know, trying to take away his time and space is crucial, easier said than done. Um, we were able to get the win. So obviously that's the most important thing. I think we can do still do a little bit better job and uh, uh, on some of their top guys. And we'll try to, uh, to do that again, uh, a better job tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'd say that there was a lot of good things um, by us defensively um, in a pretty tall order. And final question to Ken Weave from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Josh, just from a teammate's perspective, what's it like to see Pierre-Luc Dubois back uh, on the ice today, knowing, uh, how excited he probably is to get back into the action. Yeah, it's great. I mean, um, obviously, uh, sort of a, a weird number of weeks for him, you know, having the quarantine after being traded and then uh, coming back, playing a couple games and then, you know, missing uh, missing a couple again. So it's nice to see him uh, back with the guys. And, um, you know, I don't really know the timetable for him, but, uh, you know, it's he's an exciting player in a couple of games uh, and a few practices that uh, you know I've been on the ice with him. Um, you know you can see how much talent he has and and uh, so many of the attributes that uh, he possesses as a player. So you know I'm just excited for him to get the chance to to get into a number of games and kind of get on a roll and and see what um, you know he'll be able to do. So um, as a teammate and. I'm excited to see uh, to see him playing.